of the country has a leader that is hell-bent on going around and making empty promises. And in elections, politicians come and they do two things. And I am speaking now as a politician. But I have never done those things. So they come and they promise you. People's National Party General Secretary Dayton Campbell dismantles Holness' claim that he has never made political promises. This is Cover Story Highlights Local Government Election Watch. Let's get after it. But before we do, please subscribe, like, share and comment on the content. Amidst a somber atmosphere following the tragic death of 15-year-old Lamar Gray, who fell from a camping bus during the PNP's Portmore leg of the island-wide tour, Party General Secretary Dayton Campbell addressed a massive public meeting in Newlands and seized the opportunity to confront Prime Minister Holness on his assertion of never making political promises. Holness's recent remarks condemning politicians for unfulfilled promises while simultaneously claiming he has never made promises raised eyebrows and invited scrutiny. He was speaking at a rally in Freetown, St. Catherine, while trying to prop up political turncoat Carl Davis, who defected to the Jamaica Labour Party when she did not get the chance to run in the Troja division. Now listen to Holness promising the citizens of Freetown that he will give them water and fix their roads. So I'm asking you to be a little bit patient. You have to be a little bit patient. But what you can rest assured with is that the dividends from the good economy will be used to fix your road and your water. We are now in what is called a political cycle. Elections come around, and in elections, politicians come and they do two things. And I am speaking now as a politician, but I have never done those things. So they come and they promise you, and the promise that they make sometimes exceed what they know to be their capabilities. So they make promises that they think you will want to hear because somehow they believe that you don't know what the reality is. So they over promise. You might not sometimes actually know what the reality is so you believe what they say. And you might vote for them. And then when they win, they are not able to deliver. You get frustrated and you say, Trump, me can't bother with politics because. From my lifetime in politics, I've been in politics now for almost, yeah, you know, a long time. I've been elected now for almost 27 years, but I've been in politics before I was elected. So I'm going about 30 years in politics, working as a youngster coming through the system. And I saw that. I saw that people were frustrated with politics and I made it a commitment not to make promises that can't be delivered. I make commitments and I share my aspirations with you. I say I would like to do so and so or I commit that the water supply here will be upgraded. Those are not promises. I heard one politician who, former politician, who came out and said, you know, politicians should be over promise. And I, I admire her for being truthful. I won't call her name because she's not in politics anymore. I don't want to bring her in. But what she said was profound and very important. Reason with the people. Tell them what the situation is. If you vex, you vex. If you understand, you understand. But that's how it is. But don't go and play upon sometimes the ignorance of people, the fears of people, and over promise and say things that can't be done. Holness's assertion seems at odds with political reality, as promises are a cornerstone of election campaigns. 
His critique of others' promises while denying his own raises questions about his sincerity and transparency as a leader. Now listen to how Dayton Camber, General Secretary of the People's National Party, responded to that critique. But comrades, the, when we say PMP, we take that to mean the People's National Party. This evening I want you to take it to mean People's National Party. But I also want you to take it to mean progress, not promises. Because this political party is about your development and how we make things better for you, how you can progress. That other party that is there is about making promises. And the country has a leader that is hell-bent and going around and making empty promises. He made a promise that we could sleep with our windows and doors open. He made a promise that we would have fixed election dates. He made a promise that you would have term limits for prime ministers. He made a promise that he's going to turn a rural town in Sri Lanka, Stewart Town, into a city by the end of this year. He is getting desperate. So now he is going to come to Portmore and promise you that he's going to AC Portmore because of my two hot. <laughs> We don't want you to be deceived by the promises that they're making. Because I have been young and now I am old. And it's the first time I see people have break ground to fix one road where exists already. They are literally going around the country on a daily basis just promising things promising things because they bought into the story that the pnp was not going to be ready but now that we have turned on the thing and the people's national party is up and running and the comrades are waiting on the 26th of february to go up there and put them ex squarely beside the head they get nervous we are not interested in the money for our vote we are not interested in nobody come give with nothing so we vote because our minds are made up that we are going to get rid of labor and we are starting with the local <laughs> we come and we say time come and i hear some of them say time come for what what that mean i remember when barack obama came and he said yes we can that was his message and we are saying time come now time come for what time come for us to have a prime minister that can get certified by the integrity of this one. time come for what kurt you want me to tell you what time come for time come for us to kick out of parliament the local rank one went down and all of them are saying they have time time come time come for what I see them say they have spark program and they have this program and you have 70 percent of the roads being parish council roads and they don't give a dollar to the councillors it's gonna take more than a spark to get the fire burning for us to give the appropriate allocation to councillors so they do time come for what you want to tell them what time come for? Time come for people stop get water bill and not get no water in a them time. Then say time come for what? I want to tell them what time come for. 
yeah. time come yeah. till we have cleaner communities time come to them collect the garbage out of the communities so we don't have the rat and rat and that was a cover story highlights local government election watch tune in again next time for another edition of cover story highlights local government election watch in the meantime please subscribe like share and add your comments below